Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 42 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were actually in part two of our series on luminosity masks and selections. Today I wrap up with part three, and this is a technique that I picked up at Photoshop World. Now, I don't like to simply regurgitate recipes to you, so I did some research online and I actually discovered a white paper that was written in 2006. Now, I apologize if I get your name wrong, but I'm going to send you to Tony Kuiper Photography. This gentleman wrote an article in 2006 that goes over in high detail, a lot of detail, about luminosity masks. So if you want to learn more than what I'm going to show you today in this video, please go visit his website, look at that article, because I actually picked up a wealth of knowledge in this demo that I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's jump into part three of luminosity selections and masks. To kick this off, what I want to do is load a channel I created and notice that I have a white box on the left side of the screen in this channel. You already know that if you command or control click, it'll load that channel as a selection. What I want you to see is I have a second channel where I've moved a, that white area to the right. If you hold command shift, which would be control shift on a PC, notice the plus symbol. I can command shift click, which would be control shift click, and this adds to the existing selection. The third item I have here is simply a white box that traverses both of those selections on the screen. We're going to be using this next technique. We're actually going to be making an intersection of an existing selection. So notice how that white box goes across the two existing selections. The keyboard shortcut is command shift option, excuse me, command option shift on a Mac which would be Control alt shift on a PC, look at my screen, you're going to see an X in my cursor. So if I Command option shift or Control alt shift and click, what we're left with is the intersection of that existing selection on the screen. This is going to be the key ingredient to create a series of luminosity selections that will save off in the channels panel. So let's see how that's done with our full image. I'll go ahead and Command D to deselect. I'm going to show you the RGB channel and I'll start by Command clicking the RGB channel to load the areas that are 50% gray brighter. So here I have my initial selection. I'm going to save this as a channel. If I do this and we show you the channel, these are the areas that are rather bright in the image. I can create an intersection of this particular channel on itself to get areas that are even brighter. This will make a smaller selection, more refined selection on the screen. To do that, I have Alpha Channel 1 selected. I'll hold Command Option Shift or Control Alt Shift on a PC. Again, notice the X on my cursor and I click. This is the intersection of that selection. So I've taken the selection upon itself. I'll make this a channel. I'll click now on Alpha Channel 2. It's a smaller selection. These areas are even brighter than what I had before. I'll do this one more time. Command Option Shift or Control Alt Shift on a PC. Look at the X. This is the area that is most bright. Make that a selection. Now what we have are the bright areas the areas that are brighter, and the areas that are brightest still. I could drill down even further, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to leave it with three light areas. Let me go ahead and relabel those real quick so you can see this is bright, this is brighter, this is the brightest. The next thing I want to do is create a shadow selection. So I'm going to command click to load my brights. Now I will inverse the selection to get the shadows. So that's Command Shift I or Control Shift I on a PC and I'll load this as a selection. 
If we take a look, these are now the shadows inside our image. Once again, I can do Command Option Shift, Control Alt Shift for Intersect. I'll do this three times. So this will be my Alpha 2. I'll select that. This will be my Alpha 3. Select that and I'll label these Dark, Darker, Darkest. All right. One last technique to show you, you can actually get at the mid-tones of the image. You have to do that by making the initial selection and then grabbing out the lights and the darks. So the way that I would do this, I'll show you the whole image. I would do edit and then select all, or excuse me, select and then select all. So this grabs the entire image. I'm going to go to the channels. I'll first subtract the brights. To do a subtraction, it's command option on a Mac or control option on a PC. So now I've selected or I've subtracted the brights. I'll do the same thing with the darks. So again, command option on a Mac or control option on a PC. Look at the cursor, it has a minus symbol. Now I've subtracted the darks. Now I'm getting a message that less than 50% pixels were selected. That's okay. Even though you can't see it, it's still there. So I'll just simply click OK make this a channel and you can see this is the last one if I select it that's actually the midtones so that's a way that you can load your brights your darks your midtones I have them loaded as channels now let's take a look at using these selections in the image I'll go and do my RGB once again I'll do an adjustment layer I want to select the brights I'll go ahead and load a curves adjustment. This is the brights, and I'm affecting the bright areas of the image. If I want to, I can go back to channels. I'm going to go ahead and this time I'll load the darkest areas by command clicking. There we are. Go to my adjustments, do my curves. All right, this is now a curve on the darkest areas of the image. There we are. Here's the darks. Hey, and I can go ahead and bump that up. So there's the dark areas. I can do my little S selection. All right, let me go ahead and label these. This was my lights. There are my darks. Let me show you again the channels. Here's everything we created today. This is part three in the series. Again, look for Tony Kuiper Photography. The URL, which was too long to list, is showing up on your screen. It's also going to be in the description in the show notes. So appreciate you being here as always. If I've helped you, please give this episode a thumbs up. I always appreciate it when you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I create the videos in response to your questions. Hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, my blog, ajwood.com, or this YouTube channel. You guys, appreciate you being here as always. Have an excellent week, and I'll see you next time.